What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and yes, your boy is finally back. I know this is probably maybe the fifth hiatus that I've taken in my channel history. Actually, probably the 15th, but this is basically the last one. I mean, I don't think I have to explain it for you guys or in plain writing why I was gone. If you look at the title of my last video or my last last video, you'll see basically the reason right there. But anyways, moving onward, there's a lot of things that I know I missed out on from niggas stealing switch shipments from Nintendo delivery trucks and a, a bunch of crazy shit to be honest man while I was making this transition into this new apartment as you can see yes your boy got a new place thank you thank you thank you oh. <laughs> anyways as you can as you can tell I'm in a new setting new equipment to an extent I got a new internet connection and all this stuff I'm still in Brooklyn though don't you ever think for a second that I'm leaving Brooklyn no it's Brooklyn all day every day okay but yes, I had to make some transitional moves. But anyways, things are good now. And from what I can tell, no more hiatuses, man. But we ain't here to talk about my presence in the goddamn community. I've been missing for a long time. That ain't nothing new. We're here to talk Nintendo Switch. Can you believe that it's only a few days until this thing comes through? Now, in the time span that I've been gone, we've seen so much juicy information come through. Now, I think you have the entirety of Zelda Breath of the Wild fucking leaked online. Somehow, some way. I think it was through the Switch. And, no, it wasn't even through the Switch. It was through the Wii U release of the game. People were able to download that shit off the eShop. You're able to see everything right now. It's nothing like the leaks where people had some of the data. It's the whole fucking thing. So, my advice to you... If you're looking forward to playing Breath of the Wild, you better avoid anything in regards to that. I, I kind of block those topics on showing on my timeline because I don't want to see anything. But most likely, I'm going to get spoiled by some fucking dickhead at some point later today. So, fuck you, dickhead. Anyways... Now, in terms of what I wanted to talk about today with you all, there's something kind of essential and basic that needs to be brought up here. And, you know, I, I want to get away from all the crazy complexities with the Joy-Con fucking up and there being some kind of um, latency issue with those. I'm not here to talk about the frame rate drops or all that other technical stuff with the, well, the fucking Nintendo Switch. No, no, no. I'm here to talk about the essential basics right here. If you're getting yourself a Switch, you're going to need something to make it look a little sexy. Now, I'm going to tell you guys this. I've purchased about... I think almost $1,000 in Nintendo Switch accessories off Amazon. I know that sounds goddamn psychopathic, but you gotta remember, I'm a content creator. I kinda need to do so. It's my goddamn job. I was gonna do a bunch of coverage with that. I hope you guys anyways and showing off the accessories I got. I got a lot of different crazy shit, but there's one thing that you gotta have as an essential if you're trying to look decked out. Listen, have you ever wanted to bring over a significant other or somebody that you have some sort of intimate interest in? There's a way that you can guarantee to get your dick sucked or your pussy eaten. And here's the way that you do so, man. It's called motherfucking D-Brand. Now, here's the thing. I already know, man. Hold on a second. Before we continue, cue the goddamn comments. Oh, it is selling out. This nigga's trying to make a quick buck. It's a sponsorship. It's a paid endorsement. All right. I know I have to dispel those thoughts for you guys because, you know, I'm just, just telling you honestly, I've been using D-Brand. This is a D-Brand skin right here. I've been using D-Brand for a long time now. Shout out to MKBHD. That boy put me on. That's one of my favorite content creators, by the way. But I've been using D-Brand for a minute. But people are going to think, oh, Etika, you're selling out. This is a sponsorship. So just to prove to you that this is not a sponsorship, fuck D-Brand. Now, this if, this if this was a paid sponsorship or an endorsement, they wouldn't let me say that in the video. So that way, you know this is coming entirely from the heart, me being genuine about a product that I really love, that I think is relevant to all of you, or at least the majority of you that are buying Nintendo Switches. I know most of you niggas ain't got the scratch for that kind of thing right now. And plus, maybe the benefit of getting a console this early doesn't really appeal to you all considering the launch lineup, or maybe some other policies that the Switch has going on for it. It's always better to wait until later but as an early adopter i want to get on top of the nintendo switch right away because of being able to hack that uh, uh i mean i mean just to experience the early titles and to see the features of a brand new console without hindrance yeah but anyways d brand skins man now these boys they've been making skins for stuff like um, smartphones and and, and uh, laptops and stuff like that. Now, I remember on Twitter, I had mentioned early, I think they were probably already working on it at that point, but I had mentioned earlier on Twitter, like two months ago, yo, it'd be cool to see some D-Brand skins. And I guess they got enough demand for it because now we pretty much have D-Brand skins ready to go for the Nintendo Switch. So if we go to their main website right here, like I said, I proved to you all, this ain't no page sponsorship, fuck D-Brand, although I love their products. <laughs> if we go to their page right here, we can go to shop 
And a lot of you guys actually might know about this already, to be honest. I'm late to the party, as usual, so I'm sorry if this is kind of regurgitated, redundant information. But I actually didn't even make my own configuration yet because I was waiting to do so on camera with you dudes. So if we go here, you know, they show you all these skins. They do a lot of fucking product skins, just to let you know. But we're going to scroll all the way down to N. Now, this will be a pre-order. I think they all ship around the 3rd of March, you know, when the thing comes out. So if we go here, we can see that you're going to be able... If you if you haven't seen this before, just ready yourself, man. You're going to be in for a little bit of a treat, all right? Just to let you know. So if you go here, you can see that you have options. You have the left Joy-Con, right Joy-Con, dock, console, bezel, and logo. I don't even know what the hell the bezel feature could be for, but it looks kind of sexy. So let's, let's see. Let's see what the hell the deal is. So we're going to click bezel. What does this cover? We're going to put red on the bezel. Oh! I, I, I don't know about that one. I, I don't know if I like that one. I mean, it looks kind of... All right, but you know what? Let's 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 keep it up. All right, so I'm going to try my best to create a sexy-ass Nintendo Switch skin right here for you dudes on D-Brand. Now, once you configure your skin, you can order the shit, and it shows up in your mailbox, and you can try to stick it on without fucking it up because it's really hard to put these things on sometimes. But let me see here. What would look sexy on the Switch? Okay, I think I want to get rid of that ugly-ass bezel, though. I don't, I don't like that shit. I don't like that shit. Let me see. Joy Cons. Let's hit that joy-con up with the white leather oh you see that hold on you seeing that white boy that's kind of sexy i'm kind of liking that all right so hold on a second now we have console so what is this configure let me see uh we let me put some wood on that okay that's all right i'm not really i'm not really feeling that too much but you can do the you can do the outside and you can do the inside so if we really wanted to make this look sexy Maybe we could uh, make the outside black leather, but it kind of looks the same as it normally would. I don't know, man. Yeah, uh, yeah. okay, so let me see here. Wait, 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 let me... Concrete, maybe? And then we can make the inside white leather? That looks kind of sexy, I think. And then maybe likes to make the bezel um, stone, white marble. All right, that looks like a fucking Nintendo Wii U gamepad right there. Um, I'm not even the fucking deluxe. It looks like the white gamepad. <laughs> Hold on. Let me see here. I don't know if I like the bezel having a color like that. So we're going to remove that. Now for the dock. This is where shit gets sexy. You can have a coked out Nintendo Switch, dog. I don't know how well this would look with the um, red and blue Joy-Cons. They don't really give you an option to preview it with that. You can also have the logo be changed up too. So if you wanted to make it something like metallic, you could do so. That's kind of sexy. I, I just like the idea of the white Joy-Cons. To be honest, that 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 would, if they ever came up with a white configuration, I would pick that shit up right away. Just seeing how it could potentially look here, I think you got to win. So, I mean, they don't really have an option to create your own custom kind of skins. I wish that they did, but, you know, it, it's just not there right now. But still, this, isn't this sexy? If you guys really wanted to add some flair, flavor, a little bit of class, get your dick sucked, you could do so and with this Nintendo Switch D brand skin stuff and you'll be set, man. I'm just informing you. I just want to get the knowledge out there that it is possible to make a really sexy skin. Like I said, if you guys want to see just as proof for yourself how nice these D brand skins are, this is an entirely D brand skinned phone. The Nexus 6P, um, this is, I know they had white ones, but this is white one with a black trim. It's got the black fingerprint scanner. It's got, it, it's a really nice way to add some flair to your shit. So if you guys are interested, I'll leave the link down below. Like I said, this ain't no paid sponsorship. There ain't no damn coupon code you can use to get 20% off your Nest purchase when you use Etical World. No, no, there's none of that shit. This is just something that I really find interesting. It, like really nice on the eyeballs that I think you guys would also benefit from too. And plus, it's not that expensive. I mean, if we look at the pricing, the whole thing to get this decked out is $9.95. You can't really beat that. I mean, you can do other things as well. Let me see. If you made the Joy-Cons, all right, you got the wood Joy-Con. That's not bad. Uh, well, what else? What else we got here? Hold on a second. Let's see the stone. Ooh, that is sexy. Nick, are you seeing this? The stone Nintendo Switch. Let's make the dock stone too. Why not? Nigga, wait, let's make the logo black. Let's make the logo matte black. Uh, all right, let's just get rid of this. To be honest, that looks kind of sick. It looks like it's made from fucking stone. And that's the thing, too. A lot of D-Brand skins are actually, like, they have that texture where it feels like the material that it looks like. It's, it's kind of sick. The white leather, it feels like leather when you put your hands on it, even though it's not, of course. But, I mean, they really get down that um, precision. It's kind of like the HD rumble in a way. But, all right, I'm done gushing about the goddamn um, D-Brand skins. If you want to pick it up for yourself, I'll leave it below. Guys, this is the first of many videos of my own personal cover. 
coverage of the Switch, even though I know everybody and their goddamn mother has their hands on it, including channels with like 2,000 subscribers. How the fuck? Like, I really want to know how in the fuck did they pull that shit off? But anyways, in terms of my coverage with the Switch, I got my own little unique kind of twist that I'm going to be throwing on board with it. Like I said, your boy's back for good. So if you're interested, you want to take a look at it, stick around. I'm going to hit you with the content in a little bit. But for now, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one. Peace.